Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. Um, I hope you've all had uh, a weekend. Um, today we're going to be taking a look through my latest sketchbook that I just uh, finished. I just finished this sketchbook, so I thought I'd um, take a look through it with you all. Um, so, you know, sit down and chill out for a bit. We're going to... Um, I'm gonna take a take a fucking look through my brand new sketchbook. Boom! Ah! I scratched my belly button and ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> when you're about to say something you planned to be funny, but then you accidentally turn your lamp off and it ruins the whole rhythm of what would have been the joke so it doesn't even matter hey it was about scratching my belly button i'll leave it there you can uh make up the rest of it yourself leave it in the comments finish this sentence i scratched my belly button and then dead fist <laughs> That's also deafness. This is the thing. I did, you know, I did a whole um, video about my, my notes book. This is one of my notes. I thought it'd be funny to draw the thing in this weird kind of shape. His legs could be longer, I guess, but that's basically it, isn't it? Oh, threw him in in some Posca pens. I really like this. This is my character, Death Fist. He's like the Grim Reaper, but instead of a scythe, he's got a ginormous fist arm and he fists people to death. Uh, he wears a poncho, so and I was I did a whole bunch of drawings of ponchos to poncho his poncho. I was coming up with a bunch of <coughs> like snow snow slash ice creatures for a thing, trying to come up with like a snow monster. Hence all the blues and white and such. And I thought a red eye would go quite well, so. That. And these were some more of those. It's like a troll giant guy. This guy's having a whale of a time with his knob out. It's always a good time when you've got your knob out. But then you get people shouting at you, no dicks, put them away. Put your dicks away, you and Stop with all, all of your penises. You're too many. You look like Zoidberg down there. You unzip and it's like Zoidberg's mouth going. Or Zoidberg noises. I don't know. I haven't watched Futurama in a long time. Whatever he sounds like. Ponchos. <laughs> Some um, referenced drawings of ponchos. Because for Death Fist, this is, the plan was to have a sketchbook like almost full of just you know practice drawings of Death Fist ready for when I make my Death Fist comic. Uh, this became a paint. This was. See, because it was like uh, snow monsters, and then this is what I came up with, like a big scary snow bear. And he's about to eat this fucking poor sod little kid. Um, but then I did a few pages of drawings of Death Fist and then gave up. Because I'm never going to make that comic. <gasps> I might. I will. I'll, I, I, rat, but he's wearing my head, a, a human head. Like Ratatouille, but... The plan was never to make it like a reverse ratatouille, but in a way it kind of is that. I guess technically it should have like a small human on his head if it's going to go that way, but I don't know. Death fist, death fist, motherfucker, yeah. Death fist, fucking yeah, bitch ass bitch. Death like a cowboy, it's Clint Eastwood in the movie Clint Eastwood is a cowboy film. You know, that was my favourite film, Fistful of Cowboy by Clint Eastwood. Starring Clint Eastwood as Clint Eastwood in Clint Eastwood is a cowboy, something something dollars. These are, some of these drawings are quite cool, I like the head drawings. And that's the point of Death Fist, is that he's just fun to draw and then make a comic based on he's fun to draw. But then you come up with a story that involves loads of 
uh, plot points that are not fun to draw, and then it ends up being that like maybe a quarter of the comic is actually fun to draw. So you've got to fill in all the gaps with all this shit that isn't fun to draw, and then by the time you get to the end of the comic, you're sick of it and you never want to see it again. That's the thing. That's a green thing. There's quite a lot of thing in this sketch, but for some reason I've been on a thing, uh, thing. <laughs> Lately, I've been on a, a bit of a roll of, of enjoying the character of the thing. Uh, I planned to do like a thing painting and a Hulk painting. These were just rough, quick ones in my sketchbook. Um, I did do a more finished, polished, finished, polished, Polish uh, thing piece, which was really, really good. I uh, do it drew and slash painted it um, using a an action figure as reference. So I might have to do that for the Hulk. Get get hold of a, 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 a new decent Hulk action figure. Make a nice painting and then have the two, the thing and the Hulk, nice paintings slash prints next to each other. It would be really cool and nice and cool. I gave, I did a turquoise background for the painting of him. I don't know what colour I'd do for the, for the Hulk. Purple seems be the go-to and maybe i could do purple and make it blend in with his shorts so his shorts almost become invisible and it's got his like top half and his left i don't know i'll figure it out more death fist fuck you fuck you this is death fist this is one of his the antagonists see because he's got to track down these people who are like have evaded death because the grim reaper can't catch everyone some people get away from him so then they send in death fist with his death fist and he's got to catch this guy who's evaded death by some means. Look, that's a penis. That's a pig's head. But that's a penis. But I mean, this this frankly, this book doesn't have enough butts in it. Usually, I, they're crammed in. There's hundreds and hundreds and tens of hundreds of them. As for uh, hang a body up and then have a you bleed it dry in in a bucket and then you cut it and you eat parts of it. Some dead people, you know, death. We all like to see thing. I was fucking obsessed. I still think it would be nice to paint, paint like a decent picture of the thing, maybe similar to the one I've already painted, but different. But do it in pink, just because it would look quite good. Hey, you should all sign up to my patreon.com forward slash you and you and for as little as $1 a month. More if you like, but as little as $1 a month. Don't forget, babies with tits. Lego man with a skull for a head. Where's he been? He's staying in bed. The tiniest goblin. Stickers of him coming soon, maybe. Some Amoguses. Amogai. Is that the plural of Amogus? Amogai. Well, heckin' howdy. If that isn't just about one of the best sketchbook spreads. Oh, do like a good spread. Um, you've ever seen. Lots, so much ink on these pages. All the ballpoint pens. Some lovely skulls. And some... Tits, oh, get in. Love some fucking tits. Oh. Conquer from his bad fur day. There, it's a video game from back in the olden days. I did some paintings. Somebody commissioned me, said, said oh, just paint me some pictures from Conquer's bad fur day. So I did. And these was rough drawings of... Because I'd never drawn him before, so I had to draw him at least a couple of times to... These were, f these were also, I like drawing toys. I like drawing toys. They're fun to draw and they make good little reference things. That was a thing. That was another thing. That became another thing out of this thing. That didn't, but it might become a thing at some point. That was another thing based on the thing of, from the thing. Starring Clint Eastwood as the thing. From the thing. Ronin, the last one. More. See, I, and this was someone commissioned me to draw a, a paint, 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 paint a picture of the last Ronin. Never read it before. I know the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, obviously. Which word should you emphasise? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Which, which is the... Or none of them. All of the above. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What the fuck am I... And so I had to draw a, a bunch of... I bought the book. I bought the the last Ronin book just to do this commission. I should have paid the go uh, paid charged, gotten the person to pay extra because I bought the book. And this is the one single pose I use for all of my character <laughs> drawings. One arm down in a fist, one arm up holding a thing. 
Seriously, look through all of my work and yeah, it's the same pose again and again. Ronin, 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 and then, then these were designs for puppets for a comic book page starring Judge Dredd that I did for a Judge Dredd comic book page art competition. Maybe I'll win. Maybe I won't win. Some legs screwed up a little bit there with the, the bleeding through of the ink ruining the legs a little bit. But hey, it's a sketchbook. It doesn't fucking matter. Speaking of the thing, here's the thing from the thing. John Carpenter's The Thing, starring The Thing, and Kurt Russell as The Thing in The Thing, with The Thing behind him, and he's he's got a cigarette and he's, he doesn't care. But The Thing's most gonna get him. That became a painting, possibly one of my favourite paintings I've ever, 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 ever done. Ever. I really, I was really happy with that. The colour, the light and the colour and everything. Then I, um, uh, I rehashed an old idea of, of for the podcast, my podcast. Check it out. The, the ha Ewan's uh, Hang and Draw podcast with Uncle Ewan. It's, if you're watching this, it's on my channel. Um, I did one, uh, one, 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 one a week, once a week. I drew in just ca characters in the colour. This was red, um, which I'd done before and I did again because I was out of ideas. This came out, okay, look, Hellboy's hand is a character on its own. Fingy, with a finger, giving a middle finger. Mr. Krabs with his little crab penis, Poe. See, more, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I was obsessed with the thing for, for a bit. I'll get over it, I have my phases. It's not a phase, man, well it is, in this case. Orange, yellow, this was, I was really unhappy with this is up. This bit's okay. I like the Pac Man fucking going into Bert. Hey, Bert. Um, but the rest of it was shit. I tore something else out because I was raw. Oh, green was okay. The Hulk looks a bit out of place, but hey, he's just hanging out. Blue! This is my original blue drawing. But then I wasn't. I, I wanted to do something a bit more than just a <laughs> rain. My favourite of the My Little Ponies from. Ponyland? I don't watch, I don't know, sorry. Um, so then I drew this as well, separately, but as well. It's itchy, the mouse cutting up a bunch of Mr. Meeseeks because they're blue, that's all it is, it's just because they're blue. Purple. Guy the Dinosaur and Mr. Cat. Pinks, pinks, uh, I hate hate this Patrick. I hate his, Head should be about here, but because of that, the where I put Piglet's gun. <laughs> Piglet's got to have his gun, and then he ruined the composition by having his gun. The Jigglypuff's pretty funny. Mean machine, mean machine. That was drawn by my my cat. <laughs> I don't have a cat. That was, that was a cat drawn by my friend. Drew a cat, and then I inked over it. She drew it in pencil. I don't know. She should know better than to go using pencils in my sketch. Oh, come on now, pencils. <coughs> That's what we say to pencils. But that's the friend I drew her. Isn't she pretty? Well, she's yeah, she's pretty. She's very pretty. Tits, skull, skull tits. Me, ha, <laughs> see, it's, it's me. Someone commented saying they liked that I did like fairly anatomically correct upper half and then just whatever for the legs. Because if I did the legs kind of like this in the, the first draft, then they look a bit, I don't know, I just don't like having the anatomical legs so I just put some pegs in there instead I drew that at my friend but I didn't like it so I drew that and it looked better so I kept that one um, really good use of space good use of the page really um, well well used pages there obviously I drew that and I wasn't happy with it so I drew it again and just idea whatever shut up. that's the same friend that's her, that's her in, in, in a robe and then that's Mr. Doom, metal fingers, metal face, the super villain, the, the, like, he's dead, whatever. Tits, so many tits, oh, that was based on an AI generated image of a nude woman. Um, and that's basically a copy of the image, that's how it looked, she had like two torsos. And I liked it, so I did a little doodle of it. It's fun, isn't it? Wow, this is my favourite. This is my also my favourite. We love le legs, legs and heels, bums. Oh, can't get enough. Love him, love him. Oh, more tits, Judge Death, but he's got massive tits. That was by request. Not normally the sort of thing I draw, but it's pretty funny, isn't it? Nice 
Death Tits. Oh, I'm doing Death Fist, the comic. Wait for the sequel. Death Death Tits. And then that, that was just a copy from a comic of Judge Death. That was for... I was just testing the colours of Posca pens because I drew an orc in Posca pens, which came out pretty good. I was pretty happy about that. Uh, but I was literally just testing the colours, seeing if the green worked with the turquoise and the other green and if the brown and it all went. Aquitaine Hunger Force! Weird name, isn't it? What? I mean, the Hunger Force part makes sense. There is it like a force of food, hunger, uh, aqua. Where does the... See, now this, I, so, you know, sometimes I look through my sketchbooks and I'm like, eh, there's some good drawings in there, whatever. But then sometimes you get a, a spread like this and it makes everything worth it. When you just, you just get one good, solid, fucking good page or two like that. Look at that. I mean, it's copied from a, the colours of my own, but based on existing colours. But, and, and the pose and everything is copied from a Mick McMahon comic panel um, but yeah I really like that I, it came out pretty good this didn't come out so pretty good I really I think this is really ugly I really am not happy with that uh, it serves a purpose it was done quickly during a podcast you know uh, but then there was this one which is a little bit messy but but it's from Jesso Radio Future. The, this beat, the, the guy, and then Poison Jam, the gangster. Gangster man, Poison Jam. He eats sandwiches with ham. <coughs> well, he, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he eats them with jam. That's poisoned. Hence the name. Yeah, I'm well, pretty, 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 pretty happy with that. I like that. That's a good... Uh, and that was for the 200th these those were both they were for the 200th they, I did 200 episodes of my podcast and 200 episode 200 was split into two so I did one and two. go and watch that if you haven't already and that's that's that and then this because this was going to be the front of the book but I, I was really unhappy with how that came out I thought I've ruined it right at the start of the book I ruined it so I went and I started again at this end and and it was all very good and that's the end.